Having a personal investment in the financial market has now become a productive lifestyle among young people or first jobbers. The old view that investment can only be done by people of mature age is no longer relevant. This can be seen from the demographic data of investors in Indonesia, which is increasingly dominated by the millennial young age group. If we are unanimous about wanting to start investing in the capital market, try to follow the guidelines for how to invest in the following financial markets. Guide to Investing 1. Understand Investment Concepts and Risks Insurance is basically the easiest financial risk management mechanism. Anything that poses a risk to a person's financial condition should be insured. Although not everything can be insured, there are at least two types of insurance that are very important to have, namely life insurance and health insurance. For young people, these two types of protection are often ignored because they feel that the risk of getting sick and dying is not too big. So, when it comes to which insurance is more important, then the answer is, both buying life protection and buying health protection are equally important. However, if you are still in a situation where you have to prioritize spending premiums, you can consider options based on the following guidelines. 2. Have clear financial goals. The next step if you want to start investing is to list the financial goals you want to achieve through investing. Financial goals are simply interpreted as a condition to be realized related to certain financial fund targets for a certain period. By having financial goals, the way you invest can be more targeted because it has clear targets and strategies. You can also divide your financial goals according to the target time. First, short-term financial goals are financial goals that you want to achieve in less than three years. Second, medium-term financial goals, namely the target funds that you want to collect in the range of three to five years. Third, long-term financial goals, namely the target funds to be achieved in a span of more than five years. This includes pension funds, children's education funds at universities, and so on. 3. Determine the investment instrument. After having financial goals that have been categorized based on the time frame of achievement, then you can start determining the choice of the right investment instrument according to the time horizon of your financial goals and risk profile. The time horizon is very important because it will affect the assessment of the risk of an investment instrument and its effectiveness in helping you achieve the predetermined target of funds. When referring to risk grouping based on the time horizon, then you can use the following reference. Short-term financial goals less than 3 years Medium-term financial goals 3 to 5 years Long-term financial goals above 5 years In addition to considering the time horizon, in choosing an investment instrument, make sure you pay attention to your risk profile as an investor. 4. Open an investment account after having a clear plan of financial goals and a choice of investment instruments, it's time to execute the plan. To invest in the capital market, you are required to have an investment account. How to open an investment account is not difficult. You can do this through the right financial institution such as a securities company if you want to invest in stocks, or an investment manager company if you want to start investing in mutual funds online, and so on. 5. Execute investment discipline in investing you need to have the right strategy. Strategy helps you optimize the capital you have in order to achieve investment targets according to financial goals. For example, for investing in equity funds, you choose the dollar cost averaging, DCA, strategy or periodic investments every month because you don't have specific time to monitor daily stock market movements. There is also a value investing strategy in stock investment, and other strategies that can be chosen according to your convenience and financial goals. The 5 tips on how to invest above can help you get started with investing. Before starting to invest, it would be better if you start by having financial readiness. Plan your protection and investment.